Join us for season 300 of Fresh Quilting as we explore the elements of modern quilting. What makes a quilt modern? Learn how to take a fresh look at traditional techniques. Add dynamic energy to the timeless art of quilting. Our modern experts have the theory and practical tips to freshen up your quilting with a modern look. Today features blocks, the most basic of quilt techniques. First up is ebony love and using negative space in non-traditional blocks. Then, Lee Monroe has the basic techniques for how to attach your blocks together. Finally, we introduce Eliane Bergman. Each week she will have machine tips to elevate your quilting. Today is Quilt As You Go and how to create panels with scraps and turn them into coasters, pouches, and more. This is Fresh Quilting Episode 301, Blocks. I'm Ebony Love of Lovebug Studios, and today I want to talk to you about using the negative space in a traditional quilt block to make new quilt designs. The block that we'll be working with today is known as Kaleidoscope, and the Kaleidoscope block is made up of eight large triangles to make an octagon, and then it has four corner triangles to finish off the corners to make it square. Now, when you're thinking about taking a traditional block and moving the negative space around, and what I mean by negative space is really, it's the space that you're not seeing or the space between the shapes. And so what we're going to do is use this as a palette to sort of think about how to move that negative space around. So I'm going to use this space as a design board and we're going to just lay this out and mimic the original block. So I've got my eight large triangles here to lay these out on the board. And in this original block, the colors alternate. So this is a two color block right now and the colors are alternating here and you'll have the corners there. Now, when you think about changing the shapes here, you can sort of think about, okay, how do I make up this large triangle? Well, first I could divide this up actually into four smaller triangles like this. I can also use this as a diamond shape instead here and that still gets me the large triangle. And I can also take a large triangle and just cut off one of the edges. And to do this, I'm using a template, an acrylic template set that has different lines on it. So if you have an acrylic template set at home for any traditional quilt block shape, take a look at any of the alignment lines that you can use to subdivide your shapes into something different. So now with this, what I can do is play with the different colors and try to move the negative space around. So I've got some examples here of things that you can do to play with the negative space. So this shape, for example, is taking the four triangles here that I showed earlier and replacing one of the triangles with a different color. So if I take this to the design board here and swap out these shapes, you can see how this gives me a different look. And if I put the corners, what's interesting too is depending on where you want the corners, you can make this into a, uh, that will even change the way that the block looks. So can you see how that is just a completely different look from the original that we had? So fun. The next option that I have for you is to show you how you can take the diamond shape. So instead of replacing uh, this triangle here, I've used a solid diamond shape with two different colored triangles on the edges. And so I can replace those shapes here as well. 
So if I swap these out, you can see that this gives me sort of a Lone Star kind of, of look here. And you can also mix these together. So I could pop these guys into this opposite side and now we're really cooking. 